Okay, now for part B of the same question. Um, <clears throat> in the D, in the diagram, D is due south of C. You can see they draw a north line, and this parallel to DC. Okay, so D is due south of C. Jasmine walks down the path from F to A in bad weather. She cannot see the path ahead. The compass bearing she must use is the bearing of A from C. The bearing of A from C. Calculate this bearing. So we got to draw the north line. However, the north line is not going to be similar to the type of north lines we normally draw. The north line here is going to be is going to be parallel to DC. So this is going to be the north line going straight up like this. Okay, that's the north line. Okay, as you have drawn here. Now, we want to find the bearing of A from C. So it's like we're at C. Okay, I don't mean like the ocean. We're at the point C and we have to go, we have to face north, we have to move clockwise and go all the way around until we're facing towards A. This is the angle that we're trying to find. This is the bearing of A from C. Now this angle is made up of two parts. Okay, we could find this angle in a couple of ways. One of the ways you can find it is we can split this into two parts. You've got this part of the angle, which is 180 degrees. Okay, and then you've got another part of the angle. Choose a different color. Color blind, so anyway. I'm <clears throat> going to choose this and this this angle here. So if I add 180 degrees to this angle here, I have the bearing of A from C. Okay, because I do. So now I need to find what this angle is over here. And I can find that pretty easily. Okay, I call this angle X. No, actually, I already called the other one X before. So I can call it a different letter. I can call it angle Y. Okay, go back to my normal color for writing. That's angle Y. So what I gotta do is find angle Y. Now we know that this base A B C D is a right is a rectangle. So this is a, a, a right angle in the corner here. So I'll draw the rectangle, or I'll draw the triangle that we're using. Okay, I'll draw the triangle that we're using. Okay, which is going to be looking like this. Okay, sorry, there's a lot of noise in the background, but can't be helped. And we got here a right angle. This is A D. C, okay, and this is angle Y, this is 600, and this is 800, and this is 1000, all meters. Now, I've got a choice, I'm sport for choice, I could use tangent, I could use cosine, I could use sine, remember so katoa, I could use the opposite over the adjacent. That's for tangent. I could use the opposite over hypotenuse, sine. I could use adjacent over hypotenuse as cosine. However, I'm not going to use this length in case I made a mistake. These two lengths are already given. Supposing I had made a mistake in calculating this thousand meters, then I wouldn't get the carry forward um, error because, all right, simply because um, this might be wrong, and I had a choice of using two other. Uh, lengths that were given. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the tangent. I'm going to say, okay, the tangent of y, I'll go up a bit, the tangent of y is equal to the opposite, which is 800, over the adjacent, which is 600, which is 8 over 6, which is uh, 4 over 3. So that y is equal to shift tan, or arc tan, or inverse tan of 4 over 3. So that's what I need to put into my calculator now. I get my calculator. I've already got something in there with tan, so I can just go back and change that fraction and put 3 as a denominator. And I can go and delete that and put 4 as a numerator. And then I press equals and I get 53.13. Okay, that gives me 53.13. 53.13 degrees. And now I can work out my bearing because I know that if this is 53.13, 53.13, then my bearing is going to be 180 plus 53.13. Okay, which gives me 233.13 degrees. However, as this is a bearing, this is a bearing, calculate this bearing. 
bearings must be given to three it will be given as three figures and they, they they must be given to the nearest degree unless otherwise stated so i'm going to write my answer as 233 degrees that is the bearing okay of a from c and there we have the answer to our question okay i didn't copy the answer space all right so that's the answer to this question 233 degrees is the bearing of a from c mm -hmm.